Now, brothers, I want you to put up the Star of David. Oh, Lord. I know y'all. Oh, uh, that's all I know how to do, brothers. Make it plain. <laughs> Look, you got it up on the screen? Not yet. Oh, they fell asleep. Uh, Okay, now I'm going to step over to the board, if you don't mind. <laughs> Give me a microphone, please. Ready, sir. Is it getting a bit much for you? No. Are you sure? Now, this Star of David is a very beautiful symbol. Look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. Six angles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And each angle in an equilateral triangle is how many degrees? Say it loud. Well, you have six, six, and six. So the Bible says, count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, 600 three score and six. Let's go to the board. Why two triangles? One right side up, one upside down. Now, I want you to put uh, the body of a human being and put the Star of David across his body. Oh, we, we're in school today. Okay, check it out. See, when Muslims pray, we start here. The right hand clasped over the left at around the midsection. This midsection represents your appetites. When you are enlightened, when your head is filled with spiritual knowledge, then your heart, your lungs, your head reflects spiritual wisdom. Jesus said, and the apostles said, the fruit of a spiritual mind is love, peace, happiness, joy, harmony, concord, agreement. But the fruit of a carnal mind is envy, jealousy, enmity, hatred, strife, murder, war. Now, as long as this triangle controls this one, we are right. But whenever we lose this one, we get to this one. Put the downspout triangle up. Just the one going down. You notice where the point is, right? No, no, hold, hold it there a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, sisters? <laughs> That's all I know to do. Look, sisters. 
See, you don't design your clothes. You let a freak design your clothes and you step into what the freaks designed. You used to have a hairstyle. You cut your hair and your hair would go down into a V-neck. And the V-neck reminds you of this area of yourself. And you didn't hear me. See, this is why you like to put on these tight pants. Because the tight pants expose the V. Did I say something wrong? It's the same with us men. You got on these tight pants with the outline of your penis. The sisters walking, they looking. That brother's heavily endowed. And when the brothers look at you, see, this is your breast. So let's reveal more of it. Let's show our cleavage. All of us as men, we were babies at one time. So we know what that means. So when the white man wants to excite a man, what does he do? See, it's boobs and butt. You the boob and butt generation. And now you really believe that booty is beauty. So you go even and buy something that pumps it up. Because you know gravity got a hold of it, breaking it down, so. Poor brother, you so messed up. Today in the water, they're messing us up so bad, men can't have natural erections. But don't worry, don't worry. We got a pill for you. Take that pill, and if it messes you up more than three days, you're still with an erection, you better call the doctor. Now you're losing size. But don't worry, <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we got a pill for that too. Millions of people across the planet are buying Extends. Bigger is better. Oh, don't worry, sisters, if you're losing your libido, we have a female Viagra. Where's your head? Well, it ain't here. We're fighting in the house. We're fighting each other. We don't have peace. Not in the mosque, not in the church not in the synagogue. We join organizations hoping to be better, and we're still non-productive. Come on. We want peace, but we don't have it. It's because spiritually, we are dead. We're very religious. We're full of rituals, but we are spiritually dead. This symbol was not used during the time of Moses and the early Israelite prophets. This is a symbol that is recently used for so-called Jews and Zionists. 